today we're going to approach how we do grass. I have two different methods, one when I'm in studio, and the other when I'm doing plain air. So come along, let's check it out. Hopefully it's something you can utilize when you're painting as well. As we have done in the past, I like to wet my board so that when I lay my paint in, it comes in nice and smooth and even. The board can't be too wet. Then when I lay in my colors, both light and darks, medium tones, all in one swoop as much as possible. Now the advantage of doing it this way, when you're doing grass, is that you can push the dark areas into the light areas to create or simulate grass blades. So where it's dark, you stroke it up into the light areas. And where it's light, you stroke it up into dark areas. This gives us a sense of grass blade showing up without having to paint every single detail of grass blade. And as you're doing this, I'm utilizing the airbrush to keep areas damp. So that allows it to be a little bit softer, not so crisp in edge. And it gives a nice mood to the overall grass look. You try to mix some of the subtle values that you see and pull blades of grass out of those subtle values into the value just above it. So you want to have the close of mixing that color as you can. So think of it as a shape of a light value over of a dark value that gives sort of a silhouette and you're pulling the, those strokes out of those silhouettes. One on top of the other on top of the other. And that builds your, your feel for being grassy without overworking it. Now on the right side, I approach it slightly different. It represents if I was doing a plein air painting. I like using older worn out brushes where the hairs of are uneven and I push against the brush and I'll give you an example of that or I'll use it sideways and push it up and it gives me those irregular strokes broken up areas and you can see where it leaves rough areas a paint that looks like irregular grass in the distance. When I say I like a beat up brush, this is an example of an old beat up brush. And you would normally stroke it like so. But when I say push, I'm doing this instead. That's working against the brush. That's the best way to beat a brush up very quickly. And when I talk about sideways, I mean stroking a brush like this. The principle remains the same as far as pushing dark sh shapes into the light shapes or strokes and pushing light strokes into the darker strokes above it. That gives us the simplified texture and then you can pull a few blades of grass within that shape, but not too many because you want it to still feel simple and not overworked. That's the overall concept to get a feel for grass without having to do every single blade. So here's what the final feels like. A field of grass and not overly painted or overly stroked. So I hope you get a sense of 
how to approach grass in a more simplified fashion. So which one do you like the most? Is it the technique with the airbrush? Or is it the straight technique? Just brush along. Whichever, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun for you to paint. So try it out. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time.